All right, what's going on, folks? This is Clayton over at AndroidAuthority.com, and today I'm bringing you a head-to-head -head comparison of the Adaptex keyboard, the Slide It keyboard, the Swift Key X keyboard, and then I'm throwing in the Ice Cream Sandwich stock keyboard. So without further ado, let's just check out some of the user interface of these keyboard. On my uh, LG Optimus 4X, I am running the Adaptex keyboard, as you can see here. We've got our clean user interface with our suggestion bar at top. You can check out a review on the uh, website of this keyboard. And then on the Galaxy Nexus, I'm running the Slide It keyboard. If we compare the two user interfaces, um, we can see that there's like more of a clean user interface here on the Adaptex keyboard, and then on the Slide It, there's like this 3D thing going on. But of course, we can change the themes on each of these, so I'll just go through the themes of both. Okay, so first off, we'll just go to the settings on both of these phones. You can see we have the settings open on the Slide It keyboard, and we're just going to open the settings on the Adaptex. Now we have the dictionaries for both, the look and feel for both, but we'll go to the look and feel for the Slide It. You can see that we have the Slide It 3D, and then we got the Classic Skin, but I'll apply the Classic Skin, and we'll use that. We have the uh, themes here for the Adaptex, and I will change that. Actually, I'm going to keep that on the dark theme. The light one's kind of cool, but you can see uh, what was going on there. We have our automatic text replacement on the Adaptex, and we don't have that on the Slide It. But um, we're just going to go back and compare the user interface right now. Anyways... On our Adaptex, you see here, we have our clean uh, black user interface with our suggestion bar here at the top. And then on our Slide It, we have our nice white user interface with some black buttons. And we can either choose Slide It or ABC, where we cannot slide, because sliding is not allowed in ABC mode. But uh, anyways, the, the two main features going for each of these, the Adaptex is our uh, uh, word prediction and our automatic text replacement. And then our Slide It is our ease of use and uh, speed of typing by sliding the keyboard. So let's just do a practice sentence with each. And uh, we'll compare if I can actually get one off faster on the slidey keyboard or on the Adaptex using the prediction. So uh, for our sentence, I will put, I love Android authority. And I typed that pretty sloppily, but as you can see, it's still uh, got I love Android authority on there. And that was a pretty quick time, you know, like... Um, I didn't really have to use the text suggestion or the auto prediction on there. Kind of knew what I was going to type because I imported my uh, dictionary from Facebook and from my uh, Android dictionary. But we'll kind of do the same thing here on the uh, Galaxy Nexus running the Slide It keyboard right now. We'll unlock, open it up, and we will use the Slide I Love Android Authority. Oh, and it didn't even get the last one. And it actually spelled live. So maybe I was going a little fast on the slided keyboard, but we will try it again right now just to see if I can do it. I'll take my time a little more now. So, And it automatically puts the uh, spaces in after I press I. So I love Android. And it didn't get authority again. The slided keyboard took a little more time than the Adaptex keyboard. Anyways, the slider can be very useful, and uh, you know you can you can get sentences off pretty quickly using the slider keyboard. We'll just compare a few of the other uh, functionalities now. Anyways, on the Adaptex keyboard, we have our numbers and punctuation button, which when we press, we have two options of menus to go through, where we have our punctuation and a few emoticons. And then on the slider, we have the same uh, numbers and punctuation, but we have four different panels and the numbers stay uh, constant, but we do have four different panels, including some arrow keys on there. And then anyways, on the uh, Slide It keyboard, we do have our settings cut, copy, and paste, so that's pretty convenient, and then we can actually uh, pin to our clipboard and whatnot. But, uh, you know, the Adaptix and the Slide It, it comes down to preference. If you uh, prefer the automatic text replacement and the text prediction of the Adaptex over the uh, speed and ease of use of the Slide It keyboard, you know, it's just all your choice, so... That's those. Alrighty, so next we've got our Adaptex keyboard versus the Swift Key X keyboard. Now these are both uh, more similar this time, and when we type on the Swift Key X, we uh, actually get a few, uh, you know, predictions there like we do on the Adaptex keyboard. So these are more similar. They're in the same uh, ballpark as opposed to the Slide It keyboard versus the Adaptex. But anyways, we can go ahead and check our numbers and punctuation buttons. When we press that on the Swift Key X, we get our uh, numbers that we can easily hit with our left finger um, pretty easily, get our numbers in there and everything, and then our punctuation is there on the right, and then we have our emoticons there. Anyways, when we press that on the Adaptex, of course, we have our two pages of text, and um, we can go to our settings on each. Actually, that would be this key. 
And when we are in our settings on the Adaptex, as we previously saw, we have our themes, the autocorrection, and all that. And on the Swift Key X, we have our personalization and our themes, of course. And then we have our Swift Key X stats, which are pretty cool because it shows us how much more efficient we are just by using the Swift Key keyboard. Anyways, let's do some typing tests on this one. And uh, same with the Adaptex keyboard. We'll see if our prediction is better on the Swift Key X or on the Adaptex. So uh, I'll just go ahead and type a sentence in on the Galaxy Nexus running the Swift key, and we will put uh, the auto prediction on this keyboard is great. Now, um, it got most of them. It did say predictions instead of prediction and uto instead of auto, but I was typing pretty sloppily, but I, I'm kind of trying to do that just to see how well it can uh, predict a word from something that is not a word. Now, anyways, we'll try that on the adapt text. The auto predictions on this keyboard is great. So, um... I kind of did that one sloppy again, but it says thaw auto prediction on this keyboard mistreat. Now, I don't know if I was typing too sloppy, but um, it would seem that the Swift key got it a little better than the Adaptex keyboard. Now, I was typing pretty sloppy, but then again, I, I was doing that on purpose to try and, you know, basically see how well these two keyboards can create um, words based on their context and whatnot. But anyways, it, it does look like the Swift key was a little bit better than the Adapt Text. So, uh, you know, it's, it's all preference again, you guys. Alright guys, so last but not least, we have our Adapt Text Beta keyboard versus the uh, stock Android Ice Cream Sandwich keyboard that comes on uh, phones like the Galaxy Nexus. Anyways, when we compare the user interfaces of these two, we can see that the uh, stock keyboard is lacking the uh, secondary, you know, numbers and punctuation above these letters that you can get while you long press on the Adapt Text keyboard but it does not lack uh, auto text prediction and uh, you know the learning of words that you type anyways we have our number one two three ABC where we can go to our pages of punctuation and uh, characters and whatnot just like we can on the adapt text keyboard and uh, both of them work pretty nicely you know when you're typing they have good prediction on both and uh, you know they're, they're both solid keyboards we'll just do a quick typing test and this we will put um, let's see if the stock keyboard can stand up well typed perfectly no errors and it was a, a moderately fast pace you know about as fast as I can go accurately and we will type the same thing on the Adaptex keyboard let's see if the stock keyboard can stand up and it typed it perfectly there and I think you know I tried to go a little bit faster on the Adaptex keyboard anyways um, but so yeah, it, it typed it on the Adaptex keyboard perfectly, and it also typed it on the uh, stock keyboard perfectly too. So when it comes down to it, you know, you're basically just going to have to choose uh, your own personal preference. A lot of the keyboards we've seen today are great keyboards, and the Adaptex keyboard can run with the pack, and uh, all the other ones can run with the pack. So, you know, it, it really does come down to preference, you guys. But uh, that was our video. If you like it, uh, subscribe to AndroidAuthority.com, and you can check out more videos like this.